Local veterans who've received one of the military's oldest and most distinguished awards get some special recognition on Fountain Square today. Purple Heart recipients have sustained a wound inflicted by an enemy in combat. Two large boards displayed photos of the 79 tri-state men who gave their lives in Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation New Dawn. Coleraine Township resident Sarah Cook was there to honor her grandfather, Art Stoutberg, who received a purple heart for his service as a paratrooper in World War II. A few days before the end of the war in Europe, a German mortar exploded and wounded him. Medics say the dog tag Stoutberg was wearing likely saved his life by redirecting the shrapnel in his chest away from his vital organs. My grandpa passed away about a year and a half ago, and when he was alive, he actually, this was a very important day to him. He always got excited about coming down here on Fountain Square and being recognized for his service, as well as all the soldiers and veterans who have either made the ultimate sacrifice or who have been uh, wounded in combat. And it's nice, my, my grandpa's buddies actually invited me down here today. And 20 plaques were also on display with photos of the 282 servicemen and women from Ohio who sacrificed their lives for our country in Iraq and Afghanistan. Coming up, Donald